to your customers and clients on your Wix website. So first you would log into your Wix website, come over to the image of your, your website and click select, select site. You would then go over in your dashboard on the left hand side and come down to marketing and SEO and over to email marketing. When you're first starting, uh, you won't have anything in your already made, so you'll have to start with a template, choosing from one of their templates. And this is where you can make it your own. First, I usually start with the logo. Mine is already in there already. So you would have to put yours in there and you click on it and change image. And it will take you into your site files. Any images that you have uploaded from when your site was built will be in there. And plus Wix has a library of images that are free and ones you can buy too, Shutterstock, um, that you can select from. So we were gonna, on this example, we would choose your logo, add to page, click it, and then add to page. Mine's already there. So, um, you know, clicking on each section and editing it, you can change the style of font, you can change the colors, and get to know the tools over here. If you highlight it, you can change the font the size. Um, whenever there's a link, you can copy and paste your website address and replace it there. You can change the colors. Um, I'm not sure if you're seeing everything, but over here, you can also change the background, which is nice. Um, there's different themes and there's a plus button right there where you can um, add elements to your email blast, add image. You can come into the library and select an image and add as many photos as you want to your blog. And you can simply copy and paste information that you have elsewhere or right, right on the spot, what you want to say there. And there's bold, italic, on the line. You can change the color of your font, highlight it first. Um, there's dividers you can add. There are, you could add a video. I use ones that are from YouTube. So I just copy and paste the link to that video in there. And reply, of course, cancel. Um, you can add a link, another kind of a link. So I'll use this as an example gives you kind of like a shortcut. Image like that. Um, so you can pretty much play around with it and don't forget to edit down here. Mine's already done, but it will be like a fake address and add your website in there. So that it takes you to your website and then click add recipients and it will take you to your list of contacts anyone who has contacted you through their your website will be in there and you can use this selection if you like only active ones or all oh, mine may have 61. i like to do that because i pretty much try to keep up with who's unsubscribed, etc. 
And then the next step would be publish and send. And here you can edit the title, what it would look like. Or you can also, I didn't show, I'm not gonna show you this, but um, you can also see it's cutting off the mobile version of it if you wanna check sure you like how it looks in the mobile version. And let's see, okay. send test email. You can send a test email to yourself here to make sure that you like how it looks. And okay. And the last step would be publish and send. And I'm not going to do that because that's going to send it all to my, my clients. And I'm not going to want to send that out. And that's pretty much it. You've sent your first email blast.